Well, News 12 is learning more information about a fatal stabbing in Dutchess County Sunday. A source close to the family says the murder suspect had a restraining order against him and a GPS tracking ankle monitor on when he killed his ex-girlfriend's daughter. News 12's Blaze Gomez has the latest on this tragedy from Wappingers Falls. Family and neighbors are in shock over the senseless violence that unfolded here over the weekend. A neighbor tells us the victim ran out of her house covered in blood and motioning for help before she collapsed across the street on their front lawn. Loved ones are leaving behind flowers at the home on Scott Drive in Wappingers Falls, where 29 year old Melanie Chianese was violently murdered and stabbed multiple times Sunday afternoon. 38 year old Paul Senecal has been arrested and is charged with her murder. A source close to the family tells News 12 the victim was his ex-girlfriend's daughter. Our source says that Senecal had been arrested three times for domestic violence related offenses and had a restraining order against him and ankle monitor on to protect the victim's mother. We're told a restraining order was previously requested for the victim to prevent what ultimately happened here. We have calls out to authorities to confirm information about what led up to the deadly violence, but have not yet heard back. In Wappingers Falls, Blaze Gomez, News 12. Devastating development there. Paul Senecal was arrested Sunday night on the Mid-Hudson Bridge where he reportedly planned to take his life. A 